Continuing to field questions for you, Samili, I was soon asking from within our Telegram group, are my free high yield PDFs in UWorld enough for the US Samili? Some of you are going to want to know, are my free high yield PDFs in the NBMEs enough for US Samili? I'll address that as well. Without first aid, this student is asking, okay, is it okay to not use first aid for your US Samili prep? Holy shit, that'd be quite an audacious route of prep, wouldn't it? So, uh, what's my input on first aid as well as the combo of my PDFs with UWorld uh, or the NBME exams? I'll give you a very solid answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links are down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. And I'll start the clip. So look, I should uh, initially articulate that no, I do not see it as sufficient prep for any of you guys to be doing uh, only my PDFs with UWorld or only my PDFs with the NBME exams. And the reason is because all three are critical. I want you doing all UWorld. I want you doing all the NBME exams. And I want you doing my PDFs. Okay? So that that trio right there, plus my audio cue bank here on the YouTube, is your Tetrad. Okay? Now, in terms of the role of first aid, look, I mean, it's highly audacious to opine that FA doesn't have a role in 2022. But here's the point of consideration, okay? This is, obviously, I have my biased views because I, I make my own fucking resources, clearly. But here's the point of consideration. Step one is pass-fail as of January this year, 2022, okay? It's become pass-fail. So first aid is highly superfluous. They're off the mark in terms of you need to study 50 fucking factoids for one to show up on your exam. I don't want to go on a long pejorative, a long derogatory rant about all of these uh, cons with first aid, considering it's a superb resource overall, but we no longer exist within this gunner culture where we need to get a 270, 280 plus on step one where learning every fucking minute detail is a culture that we need to adhere to anymore. It used to be a fun culture that way. A decade ago when I sat for the step one, okay, I mean, you learn every little fucking detail because, you know, you'd want to get your 280 plus in the step one. Think of it this way. The same fucking way you watching this clip right now, you're aware you have to get an extremely high score on 2CK to be competitive. That's how step one used to be. It used to be step one that mattered more. So it was worth it to memorize every fucking detail, serine, threonine, kinases, etc. Every little fucking detail in step one FA back in the day. But we've reached a point where a lot of that's a waste of your fucking time. So my free high yield PDFs, I mean, I cut to the fucking chase, okay? I mean, I derive my info from the NBME exams, as well as my decade plus of tutoring. And per unit time of your study, much more effective and clean in terms of augmenting your score. FA doesn't have a role in 2CK prep either, by the way, bearing in mind that, of course, 2CK, you need a high score. But FA never built out their brand, their legacy in terms of 2CK. So it's not a recommended resource. I recommend... As I fucking said toward the start of this clip, your tetrad for step one and step two is going to be, I want you doing all the UWorld, all of it. I don't want you shortchanging it. You're going to do all the NBME exams. For 2CK, you're going to do the clinical mastery series forms as well. So it's UWorld and the NBME content. It's two so far. Three is the PDFs. Four is the audio cue bank by playlist on the YouTube. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.